Talk about 2005 a little bit with me. You appeared only 34 games because of injuries that year, and yet you were a big part of that team, and what happened? What, what's your best memory of 2005? Uh, just, I came back early that year because I had a special vibe about that team. It reminded me of the 93 team, but this team got along so well. I had never been with a team that was so much harmony in the locker room, and all the guys hung out together, did everything together. Uh, there were team meals every city we went to, um, but it was very talented, and the pitching was very dominant. So. Um, I told the doctor and I told the team trainer, I need to get back for this, because this is going to be the year. And I, I said that early in the year, um, but the doctor said, you're going to risk something there if you come back too soon. There's a chance you're going to refracture your ankle, and I did, and eventually did that, but I had such an impact over that month, uh, and I knew I couldn't run that well, so my goal was just to drive every ball I could out of the ballpark. Yeah, 12 home runs in, in, in 34 games that year. Was that one of the few times you're swinging for the fences consistently? It's the first time ever I was swinging for the fences, really? because my, my goal always was to get a hit and never worry about home runs. But in that instance, I would just want to put the ball on the tee, and, and I didn't want to miss. So I had amazing success, and I think my general, well, my assistant general manager said, man, you should have swing like this your whole career. Uh, but I said, no, that's not my style. Uh, I probably could have hit you know, 50, 60 home runs in a couple seasons if I had you know, kept that general idea all the time, but it wasn't my style. I always cared about average. I always, I always cared about scoring runs and hitting for power. So um, I didn't want to limit myself. You talk about team chemistry. How important is it when you when you talk about the talent of the team and the other f fundamentals? But how important is team chemistry for a winning team? You know, it depends on the veterans or young kids. I think that the 2005 was a great mix, but it was it was really young veterans. You're not talking guys 26, 27, 28 in that era, instead of having guys 32, 33, 34 dominate your roster. Uh, there was a lot of youth and, and experience in the locker room, but guys stuck together. They enjoyed being in the locker room with each other and playing as a team.